everyone, Michaela here with LearnWire, and today we are going to go over North Commerce. North Commerce is a WordPress plugin that allows you to build a fast, easily customizable e-commerce site packed with a bunch of really cool features. This is best going to be used by developers and e-commerce people and entrepreneur curious. It's a nice alternative to BigCommerce, Shopify, or even WooCommerce. Let's scroll down, take a look at the... It was founded by Kelly. They created it when other e-commerce sites on WordPress took forever to build and required a bunch of plugins and didn't really perform all that well. So they went ahead and built their own. Now, Kelly is very responsive looking through the Q&A. It looks like they respond to just about everything. Also looks like they respond to the reviews. They do have a five taco rating, which is really nice probably the highest i've seen it is only one rating but they still had very high praise for north commerce now there are four different license tiers that you can purchase tier one at 49 dollars has all of the features included and you can create one site tier two at 99 dollars has all of the features you can have up to three sites you get a high volume shipping ui unlimited shipping locations conversion success consultation you get the North VIP community. You also get sponsor features and integrations. The tier three license at 199 gets you all of the features. You can have 25 sites. You get the high volume shipping UI, unlimited shipping locations. You get the conversion success consultation, access to the North VIP community, and you get those sponsor features and integrations. And finally, the tier four license at 399 gives you all the features, you get unlimited sites, you get the high volume shipping UI, unlimited shipping locations, the conversion success consultation, access to the North VIP community, and you get the sponsor features and integrations. So let's go ahead and dive right on in. This is the North Commerce dashboard. First thing I noticed is this reminds me a lot of the Square interface or the App Venue interface, but it's very nice. It's very neat. There's nothing confusing. It's not super overwhelming. It's very, very sleek. Right on the front page, we do have our overview. We can see our total sales, our total orders, average order value, the customer return rate. We can see our total subscriptions, our online store sessions, our current online store sessions, the top coupons used, and the top products that were bought. Now, this information defaults to today, but we can change that right here by clicking on this. So we can change it to yesterday, the week, the month, or a specific date range. And then we can also toggle this little on and off switch so we can compare the sales in our current range to sales from a previous range or previous date. Okay, so first off, let's go ahead, take a look at our order screen. This is a list of all of our current orders. We have the order ID, we have the status, we have the customer, how many items they purchased, the total amount, whether or not it's paid or unpaid, and then also the date of the purchase. Now, if we wanna maybe sort our orders under the different statuses, we can easily do that. It does have these tabs up top, so we can easily cycle between, you know, the created orders or maybe the fulfilled orders, partially fulfilled orders, any scheduled orders, any orders that might be on hold, etc., etc. Now, if we go ahead and click on this order, we can see all of the details associated with the order. Now, the order detail page is going to include the items that they bought and the prices. It's also going to show you the total and how that breaks down. So we can see the soap total, we can see any shipping costs as well as any taxes. If the order has partially been paid for, we can see how much the customer still has to pay. We can also see the customer name and we can see their email address, their phone number. We can see their payment method that they used as well as the shipping address and the billing address. We can also go ahead and print out a shipping label, which is really cool. I like that you don't have to go to maybe the UPS website or the FedEx website and print a shipping label through them. North Commerce offers that functionality right here in their store interface, which is very nice. One thing I have noticed is there is this little timeline table right here, but there's not really anything in there. I would assume that's a timeline of the entire order process, when the order was placed, when it was paid for, when it ships out, when it was delivered. I don't know if that's because this is a demo version of the plugin, 
So there wasn't really anything actually shipped and therefore no timeline. But I assume if this isn't a bug, that's going to be where all of that information lies. Another thing we can do here is we can actually change the status of this order. So if we're in here looking at it and while we're in here, the order is fulfilled or scheduled or on hold or anything, we can go ahead and change that status right here. So I'm going to put that to fulfilled and you can see it has changed that status right here. If we go back to the orders, that status is also right here and there it is right there. Now, while we're in this section, we can also create a new order. So let's create a new order just for zifid zifa zifid zifa. And now we can actually manually create this order. We can search for these products. Let's say we want to add the Nike primary, and then we can also add all variations of this product. So we have sizes and other things. So we just want to add the small shirt to it. So we will uncheck all of these right here. We will add product to the order. Now, if we add too many orders, we can just hit this X and get rid of that. But let's go ahead. We can add the small in, add product. Now we can go ahead and save this as a draft. We can also collect payment with, so they can pay with a credit card or we can just mark it as paid if maybe they paid a different way, maybe in cash or anything like that. Then we can also add various order notes down here. So we could say, hey, maybe this guy was a grumpy customer. And let's save that draft. So now that shows up in our draft app. So this is a super easy to navigate. Now let's go ahead and move on to our products page. So let's move on to our products page. This is going to be a list of all of our products that we have created so far. And then if we need to make a new product, we can hit this add product button and start the item creation process. So we can choose what type of product it's going to be. If it's going to be a one-time purchase, a subscription, or if you would like to allow for a payment plan, you can also do that. And you can add the title of it. So we'll just call it shirt and a short description of the product. Next, we can upload our product image. This is just going to be a pretty simple, pretty generic image uploader. And we can select from the images that you have already uploaded onto WordPress. So we will go ahead and just do the Nike. And if you want to create a custom SKU, you can do that right here. We'll just do 58. And then you can also select a quantity. So if you only have maybe 200 in stock, it's not going to allow you to sell more than the 200. Now, if you're selling physical products, you are going to want to enable shipping and you can select the weight of the product, which is going to determine your shipping cost. So this is just one kilogram. Down below that, we have our pricing options. So we will have this be a $45 item. North Commerce also allows for a compare price. So say you're selling a product cheaper online than maybe in the store. You can put that store price in here so your customers know how much money they're saving by buying online rather than in the store. We'll just have our pricing be the exact same in store as online. Then you can also input the cost that you are paying for the product so you can see your profit margins. Below that, you can add any variance. So if a product comes maybe in multiple sizes or multiple colors, you can add those variants here just by toggling that on and off. And then if you want to add custom information on a physical product, you can add that here. Finally, you can also dictate when this item is going to publish. So you can publish it immediately, or if you're coming out with a big product launch scheduled for maybe a month or two in advance, you can go ahead and schedule that launch right here. Or if maybe you don't want to publish it just yet, you still have some work to do, you can save it as a draft and it won't publish quite yet. Now, additionally, if you have multiple categories of items, you can dictate which category it's going to be under right here. And then you can also add tags right here below. Let's go ahead and save our product. And there's also now a permalink. So I can go ahead and share this link with anyone and it will take them directly to this shirt. Next, we have our customers. North Commerce keeps track of every single customer that orders something through your store. It will also give you a summary of their total orders 
and the total amount that has been spent. If you need to add a new customer, you can absolutely do so. Now you can go ahead and click on one of your customers and it will pull up all of the details of the customer. So you can see the details of their order history and also how much they've spent over their lifetime. You can also see how long they've been a customer. You can see all of their contact information, so their email address or their phone number, as well as their shipping address, maybe the billing address, if that's different than the shipping address. You can also add some customer tags to it, so maybe they're a VIP or a gold member or anything like that. So maybe they're a VIP or a gold member. You can dictate that here. You can also leave comments on the customer. So if they're a difficult customer, you can put it there, or maybe they really like blue and you can put always give them blue. You can put that comment there. You can put that comment there. You can also request an email of this customer's data. So you can go ahead and forward it over if they need that data for some reason. And then finally, there's also a really handy erase personal data. It will remove all of their personal information from your store. You don't have to go in and manually delete it. Just one click of a button and it's all gone. Next up, we have our coupons. This is going to show you a list of all of the coupons that have been created. We don't have any coupons right now, so let's go ahead and add a new coupon. So first off, we're gonna start with a coupon code. This is gonna be the code that people put in at the checkout. So we can make a custom code. You can also have a usage limit. So if we wanna say maybe the first 20 people to enter in the shirt code, we'll get a free t-shirt. We have a 20 usage limit. We can also dictate, can also dictate whether or not this coupon will apply automatically or if they have to manually apply it. Next, you can dictate the discount type. So it will be a percentage or a fixed amount or just free shipping. You can also dictate if there is a requirement for each coupon. So if the coupon will only apply for orders over $50 or for orders under $30, you can also dictate whether or not you want that coupon applied to all products or a specific product, as well as if you want it applied to all countries or maybe some specific countries. If you want specific countries, we can add those countries right here. You can also dictate if you want that coupon applied to all customers or specific customers. So maybe you want to give a coupon to everyone named Jason or to your VIP customers or any new customers. You can dictate all of that right here. Finally, we have the active dates for our coupon. So we can set our start date and the start time, and we can also set our end date. Now, if you don't want that coupon to expire, you don't have to set the end date. You can just toggle this back and forth. And let's head back. Now, here it is right here. It's our number one coupon. Next, we have our settings tab. Now the settings tab is going to allow you to customize your store and your licenses. If you have a plugin license, this is where you can enter in your license key right here and activate your license. It will also tell you the current version that you're operating on and the schema version. Next, we have our shipping and delivery. So you can set a new shipping address. So this is going to be where your products ship from. This will help you calculate your shipping costs. Additionally, you can create custom shipping rates. You can also set up a local delivery address and a local pickup address. Next, we have some of the general information for your store. We have the name of the company. We can also add a logo and this will be used at the thank you page and in notification emails. So you can set your location. This not only includes the country that you operate out of, but also all of the countries that you want to sell to. You can also set your time zone for your website, as well as your store currency. You can also configure the product settings, which will be a template for all of the products. And you can also change maybe how the cart icon looks. You can change if it's a cart or a bag or a different bag. You can set that color, you can set the text, you can set the background color. You can also mess with your taxes. So if you have a specific tax rate, you can set this here. So maybe it's 8.25% tax. You can also set whether or not your tax is a value added tax or not. You can also dictate whether or not your tax is inclusive or exclusive. Inclusive, meaning that tax is included in the cost of the product. Exclusive, meaning that tax is added on top. Next, we can sync our products. So synchronize what we have been working on with what is live on the store. 
We can also adjust our notification settings, our API docs, our webhooks, and then there's also an event log so we can see all of the different events that have happened. Finally, we have our integrations. North Commerce does integrations with PayPal, Stripe, Molly, MailChimp, Twilio, EasyPost, Google Place Autocomplete, and then also Royal Mail. Overall, I'd probably give North Commerce a four out of five. It's a very sleek plugin. It looks nice. It gives you a bunch of information and allows for a lot of flexibility. It does require you to have a WordPress account and a WordPress website. So if you don't have it, that's another cost that you'll need to factor into this. But if you already have a WordPress website up and running, it's a super easy option for you to use. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. And until next time, and until next time, I will see you later. Goodbye.